Good day everyone. Once again, welcome to my channel. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss reading and interpreting electric and water meter readings. In this lesson, we are going to learn about reading and interpreting electric and water meter consumption. You will also learn how to record, interpret, and write the electric and water meter reading. Kung handa na kayo, umpisahan na natin. Learning task number three. Study the table and compute the kilowatt hours used and answer the questions below. Number one, which household consumed the most, the least? And number two, which two households consumed the same kilowatt hours? To answer this problem, to complete the table or compute for water or electric meter consumption for a particular period of time, simply subtract the previous reading from the present reading. So, iisa-isahin natin ngayon yung blanks dito, yung kilowatt hours used ng bawat household. Okay? Unahin natin yung household A. Again, present reading minus the previous reading will give us 343. Saan ang galing ang 343? That is from 2493 reading minus previous 2150. And the answer is 343 kilowatt hours. Household B will give us 625 kilowatt hours. That is from 7910 minus 7285. Household C will give us 343 kilowatt hours again. That is from 6755 reading minus 6412. And household D from 4938 minus 4605, ang difference ay 333. With this, matapos nating makompleto yung table, pwede na nating sagutan yung tanong sa taas. Una, which household consumed the most? Siyempre pa, ang consume the most ay di yung may pinakamalaking difference. Ito, yung 625. And that is household B. Kaya naman, ang ilalagay natin dito ay B. O yung kumpletong salita, household B. Kaya na lang ang mag-select. While the least, yung may pinakamababa na nakonsumo, ito yung 333. And that is household D. So, kaya na rin lang ulit ang mag-select nung household na word. Tapos, D. Next, we have which two households consume the same kilowatt hours. Dahil pareho itong 343 dito, saka dito, so sa makatuwid, lumalabas, ang magiging sagot dun ay households A and C. So, lagay natin dito, A and, okay, C. So, eto ngayon, yung ating learning task Number three answers. Learning task number four. Give the reading of each meter. So, meron tayong readings dito ng March and April. And, of course, ano magiging reading for March? Kung iisa-isahin natin yung dials moving from right to left, meron tayong reading na ito. Doon sa right, sa kaduluhan, 2. Then, moving to left, 0, 6, 4, 3. Pero sabi nga natin, kapag binasa naman natin ito, dahil ito ay electric meter reading, ay di meron tayong 34602 kilowatts. Ano? Samantala for April, we have 60362 kilowatts. Ito ngayon ang readings for March and April. Sabi nga natin, dapat sila ay 4 kilowatt hours. Ano? Okay? What is the electric consumption? Para malaman natin yung electric consumption, eh di April reading minus March reading. That is 60,362 minus 34,602. Or 60,362 minus 34,602. And the difference is 25,760 kilowatt hours. Next, we have if the cost of electricity is 5 pesos and 50 centavos per kilowatt hour, how much did the electricity cost for April? Di ba na-determine natin yung difference between the two readings? Yung difference na yun, imumultiply natin sa 5 pesos and 50 centavos. So, eto ngayon ang solution. And this gives us what? 
141,680 pesos. So, parang ang laki ano? Siguro company ito. Kasi ang laki ng kanilang konsumo. Okay? And this is our answer dito sa learning task number 4. Learning task 5. Read, analyze, and solve the given problems below. Miss Chelsea's water meter read 1121 last month. This month, it read 1432. If a cubic meter of water costs 19 pesos and 40 centavos, how much will she pay for the water consumption this month? Well, ang una natin gagawin, isubtract ang present reading sa previous reading. And that gives us 311 cubic meter. Kasi nga, ito ay water meter readings. Okay? So, meron tayong difference of 311. Now, after knowing this, multiply natin siya sa 19 pesos and 40 centavos. At kapag ito ay naimultiply na natin, ang magiging sagot dito sa problem na to ay 6,033 pesos and 40 centavos. At yun ang sagot dito sa problem na ito. Problem number 2. Arnold's electric meter read 22030 last month. This month, it read 22526. If a kilowatt hour costs 6 pesos and 20 centavos, how much will he pay for the electricity this month? Well, katulad na ginawa natin doon sa number 1, we need to subtract the present reading and the previous reading. Diba? Na kung saan, ang difference sa Manila ay 496. 496 watt kilowatt hours. Okay? Kasi base sa problem, yun ay uh, 5 digits. Diba? Na kung saan 5 dials ang ginamit. Tapos, ang sabi pa doon, if a kilowatt hour costs 6 pesos and 20 centavos. So, lumalabas eto ay electric meter readings again ang difference ay 496 kilowatt hours i-multiply natin itong 496 na to sa 6 pesos and 20 centavos at kapag i-multiply natin ang magiging kasagutan ay 3075 pesos and 20 centavos so eto na yon eto ang sagot dito sa learning task number 5 problem number 2